Remember him? He's all grown up now. Just like with this Dark Trooper hallway set, I'm gonna get multiple of the Tantive hallway sets together, and we're gonna test out three different methods to rebuild this set if you end up with more than one. So I have four more here, and the first thing we're gonna do is do what the instructions say. Combine sets to expand play. This will be the easiest one we do in the video, as all you need to do is buy another one of the sets for 55 more dollars and build it just like the instructions say. Except for this thing, it's optional. We don't need it for what we're doing. As I'm in the middle of building my second copy, I realized I should mention this set is way more complex than the Dark Trooper attack set, sporting over three times the piece count, and it'll certainly prove challenging when we need to combine more of them. Anyway, here's our two completed Tanif hallway builds that we can combine to expand play. Not quite as catchy as build your army, but all you have to do is attach them at the bottom where the Technic pieces already are on the sets, and they go together rather easily. The first issue with my layout is kind of obvious, and that's that the Rebels and the Stormtroopers aren't all facing the right ways. Much like the Fives, we're not going to need an extra Captain Antilles, so I'm going to throw him off to sell, and I'm going to do the same with the Darth Vader. This will help recoup some of the cost of buying extras. I ended up turning around all the other Rebel Troopers to face the Empire. And so with this official LEGO setup, I think you get a really cool battle with the Stormtroopers taking on the Rebel Troopers that are defending from the other side. For a kid's play experience, this is a fantastic function of the set as it comes. I can just imagine having a friend to play with and having the Stormtroopers take on the Rebel Troopers taking shots at one another. But the major downside to this for us collectors and what I hope to solve with my next two ideas is that this is just kind of ugly. Like the one side looks nice, but seeing the backside of the Tan of Hallway on the other side doesn't look so nice. It's just not built to be displayed. I think if all you care about is display and you don't want to make any modifications like we're about to, sticking to just one set makes a ton of sense. It saves you $55 and it looks rather nice. I don't think following Lego's advice here adds to the experience for any collector. Plus, I didn't even mention that the hallway gets really skinny where the two sides meet, and that looks awkward too. I'm not gonna do it myself, but you could totally modify these to sit like this together, but I think I have something better up my sleeve that'll look way better than either of these first two options. And that leads us right into our next method, something I got a ton of comments on from my review of the Tanif 4 hallway to do a build that is mirrored. So we're gonna take this build and uh, essentially, it'll go something like this, so that it's a bit of a U-shape for display. Why is this under here? So this, of course, is the original LEGO model as is, and this is my mirrored model. I may have gone overkill on the idea that it was a mirrored model. Jokes aside, it works pretty simply. You have the Technic pins from the LEGO model, and of course, building the mirrored model, I did not attach any Technic pins in. Of course, you can add in more if you please, but this is gonna be more than a strong enough connection. We're just gonna connect them just like we did when we had the two regularly built models, and just like that, you have a full hallway that doesn't have a weird interruption in the middle. Now we're gonna need to reorganize some minifigures, so maybe we'll take our rebel troopers out, bring a couple stormtroopers further back. And we have our rebel side. We'll bring in Mr. Antilles into the middle. I just feel this is a way better display setup than what LEGO has in the instructions and what we did earlier, where you just stick two of the same models together. Doing the mirrored build looks way cooler for display, in my opinion. Just seeing everything at once is amazing, and the massive benefit of not having to look at these ugly backsides for the tan of hallways. I mean, it's just way cooler to do it this way. So if you're buying two and you're a collector, I think this is the optimal way to do it to have a really cool display. Is it perfectly accurate to what the Tanif hallway is? No, but this is a pretty good looking display to have two sides of the battle going on. I of course have to add in that building it mirrored is a bit of a challenge. It might not be for everyone. So I do wish that Lego would release mirrored instructions for it, would make everyone's life a bit easier. But in the absence of any instructions, you'll have to follow the Lego ones, except do everything quite literally opposite. So those are the two more on the rails ways to enjoy the Tantiv hallway set that just came out. But if you get a bunch of them together, well, we're gonna see what happens. I don't know like with the dark trooper hallway It went really well, and it looks really awesome. Can we do the same thing with the Tantiv hallway? Let's unbox them and find out. Oh, no My sticker sheet is bent. Wow, look at all those parts because of the high part count I enlisted the help of my brother Matt to help pre-build some of the minifigs and wall sections that I could attach on easily later in the process But for the base I started with following the instructions while making slight modifications along the way to remove the trooper flinging function This caused my floor to have some holes in it temporarily But those will be easily filled in later during the build process I found myself referencing the official Lego set to just kind of see where I'm at as I was building the other side of the wall I wanted to make sure things lined up properly thus far. I've been really happy with the progress we've been making but I ran into one main issue and that's with these wall panels so obviously they need to go on both sides of the Tantive hallway 
But on this side, they went on really easily because I basically built this entire side like the instructions showed with a few small modifications, but I was still able to attach them on with no problem whatsoever. The problem occurs on this side. Obviously, I no longer have anything to attach it to on the back because I wanted to cut this here so it was a nice, like, clean look versus this back side that comes out an extra brick to accommodate these pieces to overhang and actually attach the panels to. So let's run through a few ideas I had and hopefully land on the best one that will actually look really good for this. My brother's gonna help demonstrate for us. I basically thought if we use this plate on the back and stick it to the open sides of the, you know, bricks there, it would attach in perfectly. However, there's a tile at the bottom that makes it pop up ever so slightly. So if you let go there, Matt, just wanna show it doesn't work. It's just slightly off slightly off and so yeah that that's a failed method there didn't work out so method two is to take that tile away it would look ugly if we left the plate there so we want to take the plate off too and then put the tile where the plate was but I think the gap is too big still after that. So let's see. It's honestly not the worst, like it could totally work, but I was trying to think of something a little bit better. I would also still need to go and cover the rest of this up, which I'm gonna have to do either way, I suppose, to make it look a little bit cleaner because I don't want red on the outside. I wanted some of those backward slope pieces where it's like a little smooth bit but the studs are on the top instead of the bottom, you know what I'm talking about? Not really. Yeah, we can't use pieces that aren't from the set. That's the idea. At least I'm trying not to. My next method is to basically build scaffolding, essentially, on the back, so that it'll attach onto there, and then that way we can attach this piece on there and then just attach them like they are on the other side, but I'll make it a little bit prettier on this back side of the hallway. The current plan is to build this onto the edge of it and then have some type of, like, vertical column so that it looks nicer. We got a good number of leftover white one by twos that we can use to accomplish that. So it should look pretty nice. We're gonna have to remove the one by two bricks on top because we don't have enough space to keep them on there, but that'll just give us more one by two bricks for the vertical columns. So the problem I ran into for a second here was this piece here is gonna interfere with us going vertical there, but I realized we can literally replace that piece with a blue one by one brick and then it will be good to go vertical. Only one way to get it out and that's by breaking it open. Unfortunately. Problem solved. That'll go exactly the way it's supposed to now. So my brother's gonna fix the other two vertical columns on the outside and then uh, place the plates on all of them and it should look pretty good. So as we continued building the section, we found a better way to hang the wall panels on the inside, but I also thought I struck gold with my exterior design. Oh yeah, Matt, this is gonna look so sick like this. Ultimately though, I came to an unfortunate conclusion. <laughs> Well Looks much. like a barn siding. I don't know. I think it's too much. You know? So I scaled back on my ambitions and went for a simpler exterior look and I'm very happy with where that landed because it much better matches the vibe of the rest of the build. Oh man, this is actually coming together so hang nicely. On, hang on. Here's a two by four. Do you need this? You don't no. need that? Yeah, Who is calling me? It's not what I thought I was gonna do. I thought I would go way bigger, but this is such a pain to build bigger. So I lastly wanted to experiment with adding on another section to the hallway. I think it'd be really sick for people to add on more sections, build around a corner and make it as accurate as possible to a larger tent of hallway, kind of like I try to do with the Dark Trooper attack set, but it was a lot easier on the Dark Trooper attack set because you just needed a few wall panels each time. This one needs so many more little pieces and I used a lot of them to build up the outside wall here so that it looked nice. And so I just really don't have the pieces left out of the three sets of parts here it's just not going to work unless i cannibalize from my mirrored build which i don't want to do because i really like that and wanted to keep it for my collection so i think i'm going to stop about here so let's fill it out and see the finished product so i think at certain angles this enclosed tan of hallway looks phenomenal you have the same great wall panels that were on the original set and then where the other doorway would have been i put in another wall panel from the third set required to build this i think shortening the lever system was also a good idea just to help make it look a little bit cleaner for the display Display. And then certainly what I landed on for the exterior with a more white tone to it looks much nicer than the big gray barn siding that I was doing. And so I think for as far as what was included in the set, I came up with a pretty classy display look. The big downside is you have to front $165 to build it. Now, there are some mitigating factors there. There are a lot of extra pieces. You can sell those. I don't know what they'll sell for, but you can sell them. You can also sell the extra figures that we have. We have three extra rebel troopers, a couple of extra stormtroopers, one without a head. And then of course you end up with a couple extra fives and Vader and Captain Antilles minifigures that you can go and sell. So that $165 is a bit deceptive. You can cut that down quite substantially pretty easily, but 
but you still do need to front that cost. I'm a little sad that I didn't go as big as I thought I would have gone with this Tantive hallway, but I'm really proud of how beautiful the enclosed hallway looks. So at the end of the day, it would cost so much more money to get more of these sets to build it even bigger. I just don't think it's feasible for most reasonable people to go and do. And I think that most people should either buy one of the set because I actually think on its own, it's a really nice display piece. Or if you buy two, build a mirrored version like that because that can also be a really nice display piece. And then if you're feeling really frisky, buying three and building the full hallway is totally worth it. It looks really cool. It's just a lot of money and that's it's a hard pill to swallow because these sets are so expensive to begin with. Like the Dark Trooper set was only 30 bucks when it came out. So it was like really sensible to get a bunch of them together. But at $55, it becomes a bit of a harder task to want to go out and buy a bunch of them to combine them together. Plus, as I found out building this, it's not as easy to build and put together as the Dark Trooper hallway was. The variety of ways in which you can enjoy the new Tanev hallway set is simply amazing. I know this isn't a review, I've already done that, but this is truly one of the greatest location-based play sets in LEGO Star Wars history. Let me know what you think about my builds and what you plan on building in the comments section below, and if you plan on picking any up, please consider using the built-in YouTube shopping feature. You can check out some of my other ultimate builds on the end screen now.